Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crop the canvas in Abyss Paint X. This crops the entire thing you have here, not just an image of it. So let's get started. So with this, you'll need to go into a specific tool section, which is going to be in this sidebar that we have here. There are a lot of tools in here, and while you could just crop the image when you're done or restart it, you can crop the canvas from this menu. To do that, you're going to want to go into the canvas tool down here, as you would expect. You click in here and it has a bunch of options for you. Most of these are for rotating and inverting, flipping things side to side. But you also have a few options such as trim, resize, and changing the canvas size. Changing canvas size puts you into this menu right here, and you get to input the dimensions. If you keep aspect ratio on, it will always have the same sort of width to height difference, no matter what you put in. But if you turn it off, it won't. So for example, I could change this right here to 1010, and it would automatically change the height to match it in the same dimension. So as you can see here, the canvas that we'd have would be a bit smaller than the last one, but it would still be in the same shape. However, if I turned keep aspect ratio off, then whatever I input here, I'll be able to make my own custom canvas, as you can see right here from this line. You also have resize, which can essentially resize the entire thing right here in a little bit more of a complicated menu. You can change it from pixels to print and millimeters to inches, so you can input whatever you think is easiest for you to understand. But my personal favorite method is trim. You get to go in here and literally just crop your canvas. You can't make it bigger this way, but you can make it smaller or change the size. You can drag any of these circles and you can change the size of the canvas like that. Once you're actually done with this, you can just press the tick. It'll take a second to load. It'll take a lot longer if you have a bigger drawing though. And then as you can see, the canvas has been changed. To undo this, you just press the back button, but beyond that you can't change it, so you need to make sure that this is the canvas size that you want. Because if you do too many things past this point, you won't be able to change it back. For this reason, I would recommend duplicating the entire canvas and having it on a separate drawing file in case this ends up not being the dimensions that you wanted to have. So again, you just go into the canvas tool, you can click any of the top three, and you change them from in there. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, consider supporting as it really helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching. Bye!